I'm going to start out in an adventure and over the next 12 months developing and building a whole system of recycling, power, everything that I need to live a comfortable life. It could be hard, but I'm looking forward to the challenge of putting this together. And at the end of it all, we should see something fantastic. Previously on Off The Grid Lifestyle Solutions. Big storm just came through or going through. The lightning just gave a big crack and hit the solar panels. Not quite sure what's going on. Lost power. So after last night's problem with the electrical storm, it means that the, I can't rely on the generator anymore to charge the battery. But I've got this wind generator that I've had for a number of years. It's never really worked successfully because you need to actually have a super long pole to get it up into the breeze and into the wind to get it to work. We should be able to actually rely on solar and we've had these cloudy days for a number of days now and it's really worrying me because I can't actually use the generator to recharge the batteries. So I'm over, I've gone over to, to the workshop, We're at the workshop and I'm, I've got the old wind generator and this huge bit of stainless pipe. This is gonna be the pole for it. It's gonna get it right up into hopefully the air. That pipe there is gonna be our wind generator pipe to get it up into the wind, catch the wind and hopefully generate enough power so on these cloudy days we don't have to worry about running the generator. So once again we've been extremely lucky to get this wire, I'm not quite sure you know what it was used for but it's going to be perfect for us for this application. This thick cable should by all rights not have a voltage drop which is very important. Once again another bargain. <coughs> I'm going to mow this whole area here and put the wind turbine up in this area. Sun's back out again believe it or not but it's uh, we'll get this wind turbine up we should be able to generate power on the cloudy days. So hopefully with this no sun now we can use the wind to power the wind generator. Hopefully there's enough wind up high. They've got a big long post here that we want to put up and see how it goes. So the higher you can get it, the more wind you're going to uh, get generating more power. So I put that unit in there and, and the most I've seen it uh, generate was the other day on a windy day. It, it generated 30 amps at 12 volts. But most of the time, to be honest, it's not that efficient. So I might get two to three amps at 12 volts. That's about it. A very windy day, great, but in between, not good. I had to hire this forklift for, a, for the few hours just to get it up. It's real handy. If you get it on the pivot point of the, of the actual mast, just lift the fork up, pivot it over, sit it down, then attach the guide wires. Just tightening up the guide wires. Get them nice and tight. They're looking good. Next on Off The Grid Lifestyle Solutions. Just been over to the workshop and made some gutters. The shed to catch the rain. These will screw up here. Hopefully with a bit of luck, we'll be able to catch the water when it starts raining out of these tubes. And my tank is full to the brim. Hi everyone, please like and share the video. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions to make this project more successful, please comment in the section below. I'd really like to hear what you have to say and your feedback on these projects. Let's get in there, thanks.